Hey, it's Jennifer Sparks, and today we're going to be checking out the lovely town of Washington, Connecticut. I was actually in New Milford, Connecticut, looking for the downtown. I had been at the Elephant's Trunk Flea Market, and I, I took the wrong turn and ended up in this town instead. The town was hosting a harvest fair the day I was visiting, so it was a little busy and noisy, so I had to ax out some of the sounds. We're going to take a peek at some of the points of interest in the downtown area, and then I'm going to be taking you to the George Washington Tavern. Really interesting place. I was there on a Sunday, and I caught the brunch. It was awesome. And then I'm also going to be taking you to the Hidden Valley Preserve. I'm just reading it now on the internet. It says it's like Connecticut's best kept secret, and I totally agree. <laughs> my name is Jennifer Sparks. I have lived in Connecticut my whole life, and I have only seen a small portion. So I'm starting this channel to motivate me, and hopefully others, to get out there and discover new territory that they haven't seen before. Here is a look at the two coffee shops that are downtown that I saw. Marty's Cafe was packed. I couldn't really get in there, and the pantry was closed the day that I was visiting. Washington was delightful to walk around. It wasn't very large. I mean, I, I can't compare it to say Mystic Connecticut or anything, but it has a very nice small town feel. Walking around, you feel like you're in a Hallmark movie. In Gilmore Girls, the creator loosely based the story, the town stars hollow around her visit to Washington, Connecticut and her stay at the Mayflower Inn and Spa. Definitely would love to stay there one day. It's on my bucket list. Looks exquisite. If you're a fan of the show, you might want to go check this out. I'm sure you'll find like the points of interest very familiar to you as you've probably seen them on your TV screen. It was wonderfully decorated for Halloween and I'm sure it's probably even more beautiful even at Christmas time. Okay, you guys hungry? I'm gonna take you guys over to lunch. <laughs> I was driving around looking for a place to dine and I saw this and I couldn't resist. I had to go in and see this historic property which used to be a home. Now it's the George Washington Tavern Restaurant and Bar. Wasn't even a question for me. I'm so drawn to like properties that have a history to them. It was busy, the whole town was busy. It's Sunday, I'm like, oh, I'm never gonna get in. I don't have a reservation, but it's just me. So let's go see. Sometimes traveling solo has its advantages. Sometimes they could slide you in somewhere. Come join me for brunch. I was very fortunate. They were able to seat me and they sat me in the tavern right next to the gorgeous fireplace. Very, very excited to go there in the winter time. That would be amazing. Here's a peek at the menu. It was brunch, so they had a regular menu, but they also had some breakfast items as well. I was feeling a little adventurous, so I went for a spicy Bloody Mary. <laughs> it was huge. It was delicious. It was a little chilly the day I was there, but the table that was sitting at had a door that had like a little outside area you could sit into. You know, it has indoor and outdoor dining. The property is just really cool. And the food was really good too. I ended up getting the Eggs Benedict. And then I got it, I'm like, maybe I should have got something else, but it was delicious. I cleaned my plate. I ate every bit of it. It was so good. I'm gonna take you for a little walk around the property. It was beautiful. It was on a little stream. It was just really nice. I'm sure it's a great place to have a gathering of some sort, you know, anniversary, bridal shower, you know, that kind of thing. I really enjoyed the experience at the GW Tavern. It was really cozy. I can't wait to go back for Christmas time. Very close to the George Washington Tavern is the Hidden Valley Preserve. Definitely check this place out if you're in the area, especially in fall, autumn. It was gorgeous.
If you're still with me thank you very much i hope you're enjoying my channel i'm trying to really hard to bring a combination to like a scenic beauty and reference for maybe people that want to travel to this town and also to nostalgia for people that may be that may miss the town so i'm really trying to find a nice balance in my videos and i'm hoping that you enjoy it and thank you so much if you are subscribed and you do watch my videos i really really appreciate it this is your host and your tour guide, Jennifer Sparks, wishing you a very magical afternoon in Connecticut.